I will show you today how I layer my leads so they sound more full. I went ahead in FL Keys and created this very simple melody that then I will layer upon each other to create a full stack and mix them. Let me show you first the very simple basic melody without any effects, just an FL Keys. Here it is. Now, this is not yet a festival banger, but uh, we're going to work on that, maybe one day. But uh, for convenience sake, so you can follow along, I added these sounds from Flex. And uh, these are the same notes, but in different instruments. Let's go over them. Now, why do I choose these instruments? I like to add the sauce from uh, EDM music, then um, some extra ones and different um, different frequencies. Then this one right here. These are more lower notes, right? We don't want the exact same sounds. We want a variety and a broader range of sounds. This whistle can play more in the background for a fun effect. And I also like to add some real instruments like cellos violins and I also like to add one uh, piano or some pad sound can also go in the back what are we going to do now well uh, let's uh, keep this off then select drag or shift select to drag those and hit ctrl L on your keyboard now those are linked from 1 to 7 here in the mixer and then the first thing I like to do is play around with these levels right here ctrl click to solo them out and let's listen to the different volume levels. Now let's add in one extra. It's pretty loud. So that one back. I think I like it here. Now let's solve this one. You can also work from all the way down to a little bit soft. like this uh, this way here then what I need to do is uh, clean up the frequencies so right now when I go here in slot 1 for example I'm going to add the, fru the fruity parametric EQ2 and then I can see the range we are working on ok let's drag it like here let's drag it down a bit so I can clearly see this and now let's solo the, the ones out here so I'm first going to start here on the first one, so we can work from 1 to 7, so we don't forget anything. So I'm clicking here all the way next to it. Okay, now we can work. Thank God. Now you see the low frequencies here. I like to keep them for the sub bass, the bass, and the kick. So what we can do here is uh, find some presets. And I can drag this all the way up until I don't notice any notes for chambers I'm going to keep these frequencies for the other ones so this is one way to do it let's open this one what you can also do is go here let's create a high pass steep 8 
to cut out the lows once again for the sub bass, the bass, and the kick. And of course, I need this enabled. And you can drag down the lows here. And also you can, you can alt click, alt drag these out to here for annoying frequencies that I want to cut out. And I can cut them out like this. And this way I go over all these seven. Lines. Okay, and I just gone ahead and EQ'd all these sounds in uh, the way that I showed you. Sometimes with the preset, sometimes I leveled certain frequencies up and down, which I find annoying, or which why uh, the ones I add to, uh, which I want to add more volume to. Okay, English, right? So, um, this is just the EQ on all these tracks. What I then like to do, after I heard all of these, is go back into Flex, or the plugin that I just used. So, here it is Flex. And I like to disable the delay and reverb on a plugin. This can be on any other VST or instrument. Why? Because the delay and the reverb settings are different on all of these. Because I'm going to add them again together with the same settings. Oh, I already <laughs> did some of those. And back in the mixer. Now, for here, let's F2 to rename this to uh, lead bus. And I like to color this in. And instead of routing them all to the master track, Control shift i can select those. And there's some little lag here. I can right-click and route to this track only. Okay, now when I click them separately, you can see these are all linked to this lead bus right here. And this lead bus, this goes to the master channel. Because now I can apply some effects that I want for here. Okay, and... Um, well, let's control click to turn all sounds on again. What I can do here, I can now add my uh, reverb and delays. I can now also add some delay here. You go ahead and you'll mess with the buttons, right? I'm just going to quickly show you this for tutorial's sake. I also like to add compression. So this is which is a free plugin. Just too much. Right, it's it's fine. And once again, EQ for good measures. See, there are some frequencies there, so let's cut those out. And assign changes. So now I have my sounds. We came from here. Then we layered these with different frequencies. We did some basic mixing. And we got this result. Those don't sound really full yet, but imagine you add chords and you add bass and you add a kick and then some effects and pads and then, well, then you have a, a pretty cool sound. Hope this helped. Let me know in the comments down below if it helped and see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.